Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. One of the subjects we are often asked about is service providers. In this short presentation, we will attempt to discuss the different types of service providers. Let's start with the term service provider or SP. Service providers are also known as telecommunication service providers, TSP, or communication service providers, CSP. Basically, they refer to someone who provides services. There are many different types as we will see further along. Internet service provider or ISP is a type of service provider that provides internet services via cable or ADSL or fiber or any other way. The picture on the right hand side shows a typical example. In fact, if you have a Wi-Fi router in your house, it is more likely connected to an ISP directly or indirectly. Cable TV providers providing TV and other broadcast content were originally referred to as cable service providers. You should note here that they are not called CSPs because that refers to communication service providers. Mobile network operators, MNOs, are also referred to as mobile service providers, MSPs, or wireless service providers, WSP. Even though communication service providers is a generic term, it generally always refers to mobile service providers. We have a very useful tutorial on MNOs and MVNOs, etc. If you haven't seen it and don't know the difference, do check it out. You may also see the term telco and netco often being used to refer to MNOs. Telco stands for telecommunications company, which basically means mobile network operator. Netco or network corporation is the practice of a mobile network operator, MNO, sharing part of its radio access network, RAN, with another MNO. The scope of network corporation ranges from passive RAN cooperation, which means the sharing of sites, tower structures, shelters, power and cooling to active RAN cooperation, which means the additional sharing of backhaul transmission, backhaul fiber, antennas and other site electronics. We also have a good tutorial on this topic on our channel. The term digital service provider or DSP applies to any company that distributes media online. In the case of telcos, it's an organization that has moved on from offering core traditional telecom services to providing mobile broadband access, services, content, and apps, all sold directly from the device. We are going to look at some examples of how mobile operators or CSP are transforming into DSP later on. In the meantime, if you look at the image, it shows Oridu launching new Shababia in Oman and Anna in Kuwait to provide an experience to their customers that could evolve the group brand into a digital service provider. We found an analysis Mason report explaining in the best possible way how a CSP can transform into a DSP. The link is available at the end and as always slides can be downloaded from our SlideShare channel. There are essentially three necessary steps for a CSP to become a DSP. The first being that a CSP must change the way that it interacts with its retail customers in order to become a DSP. As it says in the picture, a service provider whose operations are digitalized. The second is that they provide a new generation of services, often called digital services or digital economy services. The third and final being that they virtualize their networks, which is necessary to fully realize the potential of a DSP. When we talk about virtualization, it's virtualization of core and RAN both. If you look at our Open RAN video, we explain this in the beginning before going into Open RAN details. Let's do a quick comparison between a CSP and a DSP. With the CSP, the business model is what we call the dumb pipe approach, wherein you will get a voice, SMS and data package. In the case of DSP, you will instead get mobile broadband access, services, content and apps. Now, this may sound the same, but we will differentiate before the end of the video. With the CSP, you purchase the services from a shop, kiosk, store, call center, etc. With the DSP, you will purchase things online via a web portal or an app using Messenger, AI bots, etc. 
there will be no human interaction. With the CSP, it is often difficult to get shared plans or you get limited shared plans. With the DSP, you can get as many different kinds of shared plans. In fact, you can decide what you want to share, how you want to share, how much you want to pay, etc. This is, of course, the eventual goal. It may not be possible with every DSP today. With the CSP, if you have any queries, you can call the call centre that has fixed hours. With the DSP, it's all online. You contact the call centre only when it's absolutely necessary. With the CSP, the promotions are via calls or SMS, which is very intrusive. With the DSP, promotions are available every time you log onto the web portal or when you start the app. In some cases, some over-enthusiastic DSPs may bombard their users with voice and SMS promotions as well, but this is not preferred. With the CSP, you can actively test products and promotions on a limited set of users. With the DSP, it's easy and straightforward. It can be tested on a group of users who may have volunteered or opted in. It's all dynamic and customizable. New product launch is tricky for CSPs as it's difficult to integrate with existing packages. For a DSP, new products could be dynamically added to existing packages. Balance check is via calls, SMS or CSP, but for a DSP, real-time info is available via web portal, apps, etc. You can also put a check not to overspend, so less chances of fraud, etc. Finally, with CSP, a personal connection with the end user is not possible, but with a DSP, it's easy. So we hope now you understand the difference between communication service providers and digital service providers. We looked at Oradu as an example before. Let's look at the Saudi telecom company, or STC now. STC has outlined its DARE strategy, with key pillars to expand STC's top line, create value with greater efficiencies, while preparing the company for the future. I won't read everything here, but the main point is to reinvent the customer experience. Another operator with a footprint in the Middle East and Africa is Zane. In their annual report, they highlighted the approach they are taking. It's all detailed here for you to digest at your own pace later. Orange Poland is an interesting case study. They launched Flex, a new app-based digital proposition that redefines customer engagement through simpler and richer experience. Orange Flex is contract, bill and shop free. You just download the app, choose your offer, take a picture of your ID, take a selfie and you become a Flex customer. No need to go to the shop and talk to the agent. Everything is done through the app instantly. There are no more invoices. Your payment method will be debited in real time for any purchase. There are no contracts, so you can leave whenever you wish. It's complete freedom. All the links for the reports and case studies mentioned are available in the slides. So we hope you enjoyed watching this brief video as much as we enjoyed making it. As always, comments and feedback are very welcome. If you like our videos, please subscribe to our channel and promote it to your friends, family and colleagues. Thank you very much and goodbye.